Um, a new Intellivision trailer came out. A television uh, Amico trailer came out. I'm gonna watch it on 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 the the obscenely expensive CU Podcast Tron 8000. Uh, we're gonna watch it here, uh, and then I'm gonna stop and comment on it here as I go through here. Let's see. We'll do uh, theater mode, I guess. We'll do theater mode. We'll put the volume up. Pump up the volume on here. Okay, you ready? So volume up here. Okay. There's the running man we know about. Our goal at Intellivision is to use technology to bring family and friends back together. Okay, that's they've been pushing that. We know that. Games these days have become so complicated from the controls, the complexity, the menu screens. I mean, everything about it just screams, you know, hardcore gamer. Well, I got to stop this. This is going to be a lot of the same messaging that they had before they announced this almost a year ago um, or over a year ago, a year ago, whatever, about they, they're, they're, they're banking on this family family and kids uh, familiarity and this being easier than, I guess, systems that are out today. Two hundred million hardcore gamers. People used to play games with their families and friends all in a room together, and that doesn't happen anymore. I, I, I don't want to stop it. It does. It does still happen, but we'll get on to it. Okay. People's fondest memories. Looks like a prototype. Playing video games together is when they were with a group of people. No, I don't disagree with. To be honest. Oh, you got some light prototype. Bring people together. Put them in the same room. Having fun. Can I say I, I love Tommy Tallarico's decor? I do like his throw pillows. And it's nice. I, I like the, the, the beige walls. I'm, I'm not even trying to make I'm not making fun. It, it, very light, light and lovely, inviting living room. I, I really I want a living room like that, to be honest. Communicating. All right, different colors. We knew this was going to be a thing, and I just don't I don't like the uh, different colors on the consoles uh, just because that's not what you should be banking on the interest on. It should be the quality of the system and the controllers. Worry about the, the uh, different colors of your console after it's out first. I, I don't think that should be focused on uh, in the video here. Um, no, I, there are different colors on the book. But um, I don't think you should focus on that, especially since it's gone so horribly wrong with, with things like the Coleco Chameleon, where they're like, oh, we have 10 different color shells and a clear shell. And it's like, that's not what the game console is all about. That's not what you should be focusing on. Like the Nintendo Switch, you know, they had different Joy-Con colors, but the console was the same. Like, I don't know, they're kind of just rubs the wrong way. Bringing back that kind of game night. Simple games. Affordable games. Fa family? Fam family. Oh, affordable. Oh, this, they mean the system's affordable. The, the system's going to be between two and $300, though, correct? Entertainment. Playing games, having fun, no matter what skill level you are. Part, okay, motion-controlled recreational sports. So I guess that means the controllers are going to have gyroscopes in it, like, like a Wii motion controller or a Joy-Con. Uh, recreational sports. I, I mean, it's like bowling, I guess, and golf. Party games. Uh, party games. I'm trying to think what's a, what would qualify as a genre party game. Um, that I'm not sure. I guess like a, like a four-player game, like Warlords or something like that. Uh, Award-winning board games. Okay, like Monopoly, uh, Parcheesi, Life. Is chess an award-winning board game? I don't think... Did, did chess win any awards? Puzzle and word games. Okay. Sudoku. That's easy. That's like an app. You know, that's, what I'm thinking about... When I, th when I see this stuff, I'm thinking about a lot of stuff that are apps. Like app-level games. Um, things like that. Like... Uh, like... Uh, what the hell is that? Words games that... Uh, the battle with friends. The word... The freaking word puzzle game and uh, things like that. Professional sports. Uh, okay. Like, I guess like... Uh, baseball titles and getting the television baseball game back on there and a football game card game solitaire poker okay 
Action Arcade, uh, okay, uh, I guess some of the ports of arcade games from the olden times, some Atari type of games, things like that, maybe a Centipede on there. Original properties, we know that the, the, the exclusive they have announced is the Earthworm Jim game. It'll remain to be seen how much that draws people to buy it and how long it's going to be an exclusive for, if, if not forever. That's retro re what retro reimagined what is i'm not sure what that means retro reimagined um not that might mean the new games that they show here in a second the television games like astro smash and shark 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 is it three sharks or two sharks uh that they show off i'm not a big intellivision person to know all the other games they're going to show i guess that's what they mean educational kids multiplayer interactive story adventures to me that's like a point and click adventure game that's what that's, that's what that is um, which is a good idea, to be honest. There should be more point-and-click games uh, out there. That's the magic that we want to bring back with the Intellivision. All games are exclusive. Okay, all games. So forget about me. Well, I guess I said before that, yeah, even the arcade ports would be exclusive. So if they did like a centipede, I guess it would be their version of it, I, I suppose. Having fun. United once again. Okay. Um, I, I, again, I apologize. I don't know all the all the uh, Intellivision games that these are going to be uh, based on, but we have a bunch of them here uh, ready to go. That's um, that. What the hell is that? What's that Moon Buggy game? Is that Moon Patrol? Is that a Moon Patrol game? That's that's Moon Patrol. Yeah, that's Moon Patrol. Okay, it's Moon Patrol. That's a a, a shooter game. Uh, that's a maze game. I don't know what that one is. That's like a, a cute Intellivision free runner. That's a great idea for that, actually. That's uh, obviously um, Missile Command, a version only on there. Okay. Uh, is that Asteroids? No, that's like Sinistar looking. <laughs> no, that's Asteroids. That's an Asteroids looking game. Yeah, it's Asteroids. Okay. Uh, a, 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 a primitive racing game, uh, a, a chopper game overhead. I don't know what that is supposed to be, like a Desert Strike type game. Uh, that was Astro Smash, I believe. That's a that's like fishing. Is it was it fishing derby? Was it fishing derby? Fishing derby. What was it called? Not fishing derby. What was the fishing game called? Uh, fishing derby. <laughs> Okay, a breakout game. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. That's a, that's like a snake game. Or that's a, oh, that's Tron. That's Light Cycle Tron. Okay. Type of game. Uh, too fast. Uh, a, 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 an Echo type game. I got, I got some of them. Coming out a year from now. Over a year from now. Okay. It's good that they have games. We know they're making games. We know they have some of the old developers redoing some of these games. Um... I guess it's nothing surprising that we're seeing. It's, it's not really new information. I think what what um, I should put this on loop while I play it. No, um, I think what's what my questions are. They're not changed about you know being family friendly and 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 having uh, games that kids can easily understand. I think that, again, it's taken for granted what the video game market has become the past five ten years especially with mobile and kids kids have devices in their hands when they're like three years old uh they they know how to use tablets they know how to do things like that and kids are pretty intuitive when it comes to controls on video games i mean kids use a switch fine when i grew up i had no problem learning how to use an nes controller when i was six seven years old and and none of my friends and cousins did and, and as, as say, things got more complicated you know we figured out how to use a keyboard. I was using a keyboard when I was five years old. I learned DOS when I was like five, six years old, how to access games. So I think it, I think it simplifies or, or it, it underestimates how much children can easily learn devices. Uh, yeah. And in terms of the quality of the games, if these games are all going to be exclusive, if these are going to be simple games, there's going to be app, app quality games. And that's not, the, I'm not taking a crap on it. That's fine. If it's an app quality game, there's a lot of good app quality games, but that's the sort of simple, pick up and play games like, you know, Atari and television types of games, you're, you're going to expect on a system that's going to cost two to $300. That might be a big ask 
Oh, is this still going, the audio? That might be a big ask uh, for people that don't want to dish out that much when they can just buy a Sudoku game on their phone for five bucks or buy an Asteroids clone on their phone for or free games on their phone. When when you have games of, we'll just say, app quality of value, freemium games, free games, or five $3 games that you still have to pay for on on a console that might cost you $200 or more, I think that's a harder ask for some people. And I think that's where, the, to me, the business plan flaw is here. Because why not just create these games and profit off the sales of these games without having to depend upon a console with a controller that looks like just like uh, any like iPhone with mostly touch? And yeah, they want to put buttons on it and a, and a, a disc type a sort of touch device to make it simpler, uh, similar to an Intellivision controller, but no one's clamoring for an Intellivision controller in 2020. The Intellivision controller design died out in the, in the 80s where it belonged because a cross pad took over because that's what people think is easier and more intuitive, and tactile buttons is what took over. Traditional face buttons and trigger buttons. There's a reason why controllers evolved the way they did. So I don't see many people clamoring for an Intellivision style controller 40 years almost after the original uh, controller came out on a system that if you were a kid when the Intellivision was popular for those two to three years, if you want to say that, um, the youngest person that had the Intellivision as a kid now is going to be like in their early to mid 40s. So is that what they want to share with their children? Or I don't like this. It's a weird market. I'm not saying there's not, there's, there's going to be people who be interested in this, but I think they're off by about 10, 15 years in the demographics here. Modeling a system out of something that came out in 81, 82, when it was popular, um, a lot of those families are, are too young. So if I'm, if I had a family and I'm almost 40, if I'm a family when I'm 30 or I'm 20 in my late twenties or 35, I'm too young for the Intellivision. And if you, if, if you, and if you grew up with the Intellivision as a kid, your kids might be at college already at this point. You had the you had the, your kids in the late '90s, early 2000s. They're off to college by now, so it's not for them either. So I think they're off by about 10 to 12 years here in the demographics. Here, like if this came out 10, 12 years ago, when those Intellivision, uh, you know, you saw the Intellivision plug plug and plays in their early, excuse me, in the early to mid 2000s, those Intellivision plug and plays, that's when they sold. I don't think they would sell today. We've moved on from that, like in terms of the age, the age groups, and that's not to, to say the product's bad or anything. I mean, that's just a reality. As other stuff plays on the screen here, that I'll have here in uh, overlay with the trailer from the television. So you see what I mean? I just think demographically it's off. If this came out in ten years ago, I think you would have a shot. If it came out fifteen years ago, I think it'd be a much bigger deal than now. Especially again when the, when these are games that are look like app games that you could already play on a, a similar style games you can play on your phone for free or for a couple of bucks. Uh, I would ask why should I spend two hundred two hundred and fifty dollars on a console to then buy three five dollar games I could already buy and play on a cell phone or on a tablet. That's all. And I wish them luck. I'm not I'm not wishing them failure on a project like this, but that to me is the reality of what this system is at this point what they're banking on, what audience they want. Putting those things, computing in my Pat, Pat Math computer, I don't see there being a huge audience for this. Maybe a sizable one to keep this afloat originally, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'd love to be proven wrong. We'll come back a year from now when they have a, a launch trailer coming out or when it's going to premiere. We'll see. At least they're not crowdfunding it um, and, and then, you know, waiting years and years like the Atari VCS. So I will say that this is better than the Atari VCS on its surface. I will say that.